Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another Hobby Stuff video where I go over hobby resources, supplies, or tools. And I consider this a hobby tool. This is um, the Paint Tier 80 uh, Carousel Organizer. And I say Paint Tier because this is how it's spelt from Paint Tier products. And it's basically a, a carousel organizer to hold your paints. And you can hold just glues, maybe um, uh, some other things that are appropriate size for for the hobby, like your uh, micro set or micro saw, stuff like that. But you know, it's meant for paint, and it's made for craft and hobby paints, it's things like Testors, Citadel paints, Vallejo, and it even says on the side of the box that has those listed, and many others. Uh, this thing retails, I believe, for like 50 bucks. You probably find it around 50 bucks or so. Maybe a little bit more expensive, depending um, where you're looking. I think the War Store has it for like 45 bucks. I don't remember what Amazon has it for. But um, it's something that I, I've had for a bit now, and I, I recommend it. I just haven't gotten around to doing a video of it because it's pretty big, as you can see. As far as its footprint goes, it carries a lot of paint for its footprint. Uh, you probably won't find anything else that'll hold as much paint unless you, I guess, got two paint tier 80s and somehow stacked them on top of each other, which would be ridiculous. I don't even know if it's possible. But my point being is, um, I haven't seen any other type of carousel paint storage thing on the market. So for its size, its footprint, uh, it can hold a lot of paint. I don't have much paint on it, as you can see. Uh, I have not just paint, I have washes up there, I got four year old uh, weathering powder up there. So it can hold a, a good deal. And um, depending on your paints, you can hold them like next to each other. Like you can see here the Reaper Triad of Bone is touching each other, like right up against each other. The Citadel paint pots don't really do that. Uh, the four year old powders do. So depending on the size of the paint pot will determine how much paint you can actually store on the paint tier uh, carousel organizer thing but I do highly recommend it because if you have some semblance of organization on it it'll be pretty easy to find some paints to use a lot even if you just throw all your paint that you have on there it's just at a better uh, place to go and grab it in a box or in a cubby somewhere it's um it it's a carousel so it rotates you use a black knob on top to turn it and the whole thing turns so that's pretty cool um its instructions are very spartan this is what the instructions look like they give you options for four different assembly sizes as you can see here standard a little bigger a little bigger real big your um, parts list and then you know that's pretty much it and this packaging is kind of not the best inside of it uh, it's like they pretty much just like put everything on the desk cut the PVC pipes that you see uh, in between the um, the levels on that desk and then took the hand and um, just sweeped everything into a bag um, there were in a couple of bags, yes, but even some of the like dust from cutting out the piping was in there as well, so that was kind of weird. But everything was there with a little bit of finagling and figuring out and trial and error. I got it assembled really quick, and it's uh, it's a great little asset to have. I recommend it for anybody who's going to be staying with miniature war painting or miniature war game painting or uh, model painting even. You don't have to be playing miniature war games. You could just be doing models, so like a, you know, um, model cars, model planes, whatever you're doing. This can be of great use as well. Now, um, I recommend it whether you're just getting in and know you're going to enjoy it and stick with it, which you can pretty much figure out once you start learning the rules and everything, as well as people who have been in it for a while. You don't need to have a lot of paints to make use of a carousel like this. You can just have like six to ten paints or whatever and still make use of this carousel you can obviously put them on the carousel they'll be there for you you can start um, 
In fact, if you the less paint you have to start off with, the easier it would be to try and make some sort of a um, organization on this on this thing. And there's one I can say almost guarantee when it comes to uh, mini painting, and that one guarantee is that your your paint collection will grow. Um, sometimes you have multiple of the same paint, especially if you're doing a big project to finish up your army. If you're going to be mixing up your paints, you're going to be buying paints to mix it up with. Uh, that way you have some regular blood red, for example, but you may, if you mix it with green, or if you mix it for, with black, whatever color you mix it with, you don't want to just have no blood red after that. Um, and even if you look at the army you're playing, even if you're playing Black Templars, you can go from having just like four colors, when you're just getting into it, learning the rules, learning how to paint the models up, to having a dozen, easily. Um, as you start getting more involved with the painting and as your painting skills improve. I mean, if you want to start trying to do power weapon effects or plaza coil effects for the plasma weaponry for uh, Space Marines, if you want to start doing object source lighting, if you're going to start um, really delving into stuff like that, utilizing washes and layering and all that on your models, you're going to start accumulating things in terms of the painting um, supplies. You're going to get more paints, you're going to start getting washes. You're probably gonna, if you're gonna get into weathering, you may get some weathering powder. And before you know it, you, yeah, you start off with four or five paints, maybe even six paints. Now you're up to like 20, including washes and powders. And that's just for that one army. And if, you, and if you're just sticking to that one army, then yeah, maybe you only need 20 paints or so. But still, that may even increase. And I'm not even talking about doing flesh tones. I haven't even considered that. So you're probably gonna go upwards from there. And, um,. Really, if you're playing Black Templars, Raven Guard, um, armies like that with a very simple, you know, black and white color scheme, <clears throat> you may not need as much paints as somebody doing Eldar with all the different uh, aspect warriors and all that. But still, your paint collection will grow. And um, the earlier you can get it organized, the better. I wish I had this starting out. I honestly do. But uh, I didn't. So I have my paints everywhere, and then there are no sort of real organizational skill. Sometimes it takes me like 10 minutes to find the paint I'm looking for. But now I'm slowly trying to hem that in and make it more organized, and this carousel is going to help with that. So don't think, you know, oh, I only have five or six paints, that's all I'm going to need. Um, really consider what you're going to do. And um, don't forget what your base is either. You know, painting up your bases will probably use colors that are not at all used in your miniature, or maybe one color is, but the rest isn't. And, um, that's another thing to consider. What's also cool about this carousel is the top, the top, um, shelf, if you will, of it, has holes in, towards the center of it to store paintbrushes. So, um, it's not going to store all of your paintbrushes, depending upon how many you have. Um, but it'll store a very good amount. I'm looking at the, the box, it looks like it can store like a dozen or so paintbrushes maybe. So yeah, they could probably store all of your paintbrushes now that I think about it. So that's pretty cool. Gets them out of the way, up high away from biting into it and damaging the bristles potentially. Um, so all in all, I think it's a pretty good storage system for your paints and then they can store some paintbrushes. You can also store your washes, your weathering powders, your microsol, microset, maybe even some glue up there as well. So. Uh, definitely something to consider. It's a bit of a price investment, yes, but um, the hobby is not just about getting the models. It's not just about getting the paints and the paintbrush. It's not just about getting you know glue and weathering powders and all the other um, accessory type things to make your models look good. It's also about storing your models. It's also about storing your your tools and your paints. It's about being organized. There's a lot to consider. No, I don't want to say there's a lot because it's, I don't want to make it sound more crazy than it is. But there's there's more to consider than just getting your models ready to go and be used. Storage, like I said, storage is a big thing to consider, both for your models, your paints, your bits, your paintbrushes, um, organization. That way you don't lose anything, and uh, you can go quicker. You know, going from one paint to the next. So this is part of that organization type of thing. So. I do recommend it, and uh, I don't have just Citadel paint up there. Like I said, I got Reaper paint up there. I have a Secret Weapon uh, Miniatures Wash up there. 
I got the forge roll powders up there. Um, it can hold a variety of, of sizes of circular uh, pots of paint. So that's pretty cool. And I have it in configuration one. If you have taller paint for whatever reason, maybe some folk art paint if it happens to fit in there, depending on the size of the folk art paint you buy. If it's just really tall, you can make it in one of the other three configurations to have the height for you. Anyway, uh, that's really it for the Paintier 80 uh, Carousel Organizer. I think a very, a very, um, a very good tool to have. In all honesty, yeah, it doesn't make your make your models paint any better, or it doesn't make you paint your models any better. I should say it doesn't make the paint be applied any better. But the organization is definitely something to consider. And for its footprint, which isn't honestly that big, it's just tall. It's not that all big all around. Uh, it holds a lot of paint. So, that's really it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed, and until next time, take it easy.